What's up, guys? This is not Allison, obviously. She's running a little late. And I'm trying to get her camera set up for her. So you got to deal with me for a hot minute. What's up, guys? Getting Allie's camera set up. She's running a little bit behind. I'm coming. I'm coming too. Okay. Hey, you're a little taller than me or shorter than me, so I think that'll work perfect. Okay. What's up, guys? See you later. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Guess what? Okay. First of all, yeah. YouTube, can you hear me? Cool. Okay. Are we ready to roll? Yeah. Is that okay? No, no, no. No, it's great. Yep. You're good there. Okay, great. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Online Steps of Success. My name is Allison Dahlke. A couple minutes late. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, and we're like really like crooked. What are you thinking? Which one? Well, like, we're not like. Well, I know, but. It's okay. It's okay. It's really funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Anyways, as I was saying, welcome yeah. to Online Steps of Success. My name is Allison Dolke. We do this every Tuesday night live on Facebook and on YouTube, and we're so glad that you were here. And tonight is a big night. It's going to be fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> divert, divert. So, you have like <laughs> mascara under your eyes. You I need know. to go take care of all of that. I fixed it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Woo! It is still summer. Say hi. 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 You don't need that. Yeah, mama. Give mama a kiss. Oh, this is so cute. Mm -hmm. You go to me. All right, say bye, people. Bye, people. Say, bye, friends. Bye, friends. Say, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What stuff? Um, why don't you hang the swim towels up outside yes. in your swimsuit? Yeah, swimsuit? What is this? That's gonna do. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's very much summer. Thanks for joining us tonight's a big night. I hope that you're ready to. I hope you're ready to sell your business through the fall. Are you ready? It's huge, tonight's huge. So we are going to have some surprise giveaways tonight. Only for those of you, no, I'm not gonna say that because that's real rude. If you watch this within 24 hours, you're entitled, you're not entitled, you are eligible for the surprise giveaways. Some of them may be a few things that we were given at, oops, sorry about that, at SFR. Just a hint. How many of you, true, yeah, Jerry says true sniff test, true Scentsy Mom. S see what that towel smells like. I'm trying to get my light right on my, um, I don't know what's happening. There we go. Um, how many of you were at? Since you've been reading, we got to meet, first of all, before we start, we got to meet so many of you and take pictures with you, which was super, super, super fun. And hug your necks and see you like live in person. It was just amazing. I loved it. I loved everything about getting to meet so many of you for the first time. So thanks for coming up and saying hi. Some of you were very nervous to do that. And I understand, but look, I'm just a real life person. I have to smell towels before I decide if they need to be washed, just like you do. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix what's happening. Oh, I got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So, I know what I need to do. No? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, the lighting is just so much better on YouTube. That's my lighting director, you need them, right? We'll see if this fixes it. Mm, a little bit. Okay. Ooh. So, tonight we're doing a booking blitz. Are you ready? All right. First of all, you're not allowed to cheat. This is a no cheating zone. Second of all, before we start the booking blitz, we're going to talk a little bit about strategy. We're going to talk about why we do things like this. We're going to talk about how you can prep your calendar. So if you haven't done any prep work yet, that's okay. If you have done the prep work, you're just ahead of the game. It's no problem. So what I want to talk about first of all, now, we talked a little bit about this. If you're a regular watcher, we did a six-month business plan a couple weeks ago. And one of the things we talked a lot about was looking at your life first. So 
looking at the six months coming up and looking at your life and saying, okay, what do I have going on? What's important to my family? What do we have happening during these different months and seasons that are coming up, right? And then you you work your business around that. So that is so important too as we look at going into the fall. One of the things that I see people screw up a lot is they'll get so excited because you know what happens next month is we go into a new incentive period, a brand new incentive period where you can earn a trip to Florida or New Zealand or Switzerland. What? Right? Crazy. But what happens is we get a little too anxious. Sometimes we overbook. Sometimes we wear ourselves out. So I want everything that you do tonight and everything that we prep for to be super, super intentional. Okay. I didn't move. This is just the opposite side of my office. So I think I've only done one facing this way. I'm looking at the pallet wall and then that's, that's where I actually work most of the time over there. So see my dream board, kind of my word for the year. These are projects I have going on. It's really hard to do that. My calendar, that's always there. Anyways. So you're looking at the different view. So What I want you to do is figure out what kind of parties are best for you. And we're going to plan with that. I want to talk about a few different kinds of parties. So you have your traditional home party, right? That's not going to work for some of you. It's going to work really, really well for others of you. Perfect. Great. Traditional home party is where your plan is to, you have a host, she invites people, you do some really great host coaching, and then you go and you share Scentsy, right? Um, however you choose to do that. There's a million, million ways to do a home party. So there's that. Um, a lot of people do what we call a sip and smell. Really, really fun. Where you maybe have some cocktails or some wine and you have scents out. More of a casual, something you might do for your current customers. Come by, have a drink. Um, you could do it with coffee, you could do it with lemonade and iced tea, whatever you want to do. See, look, some of you are saying I overbooked. We're going to try to prevent that tonight. Um, so a sip and smell is really fun. A sip and smell is also really fun to do um, at the end of a catalog season. So August will be a transition month. And we are going to try, what we're going to focus on booking tonight is August and September, just so you're prepared for that, okay? And one fun thing that you can do towards the end of a catalog transition as we're going from summer to fall is a last chance first glance or you could do a sip and smell sneak peek something like that right um that's a fun thing um i actually have a sip and smell sneak peek so when i do things like that when i do like a last chance first glance or i do a sip and smell sneak peek that is something that i usually host so i'll do it at my home or i'll rent out space um either way You could also have an outside host do that as well. It's totally up to you. I would highly suggest that if you are trying to get your calendar booked and you have trouble booking parties, that you need to be your very first host. So when people come to me, hi Beth, and say, I can't book a party, I say, well, you need to book your own party. Because we have to know as a host what we're asking other people to do. It's very important that you understand what you're asking of someone, right? Oh, that's cute. Winos, Jerry said, W-I-N-O-S, women in need of Sensi. That is cute. So cute. I love that. So if you haven't ever hosted anything, it doesn't have to be at your home if that's not something you're comfortable with. Um, You can, you could even do something at a small restaurant. You can rent a room. There's so many different ideas on things that you could do. So I don't want to hear any excuses about why you can't. I just want you to figure out a way to, to make it happen. Now, some of you physically, a a home party is not going to work for you, and that's okay. Um, But, uh, Michelle, I want to talk about that in a second, what you said. I just want to make a note real fast. We we do need to discuss this. Okay, thanks for mentioning that. Um, mm, But I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought. Okay, so I don't want to hear, oh, I can't, I'm not going to you know, whatever, for whatever reason, I don't have time or I can't do a physical party. Um, There are always Facebook parties. There's Facebook live parties that you can do now with Instagram live. You could do an Instagram live party. There's so, so many different things that you can do to share Scentsy. Remember the whole entire goal of a party is to expand your network, 
because when you have a host that's not you and they're inviting their friends and family, and those are people that you may not know. And so we're, we're doing that list building thing that we talk about a lot. My lighting director came in. I don't know what's up. Can you touch that and make I it? I tried and it made it weird. Okay, go ahead, keep talking. Anyways, he's touching my face. Not in real life. <laughs> I think I was just supposed to, I don't know. Anyways. That's fine. So if a, if a home party's not going to work for you, that is fine. Um, think about Facebook Live parties, Instagram Live. I like the live option. Now, many of you do Facebook parties and you don't do a live option. If you want to know more about any of the parties we're talking about tonight, I have probably talked about them in detail on another one of these online steps of success. I have a full training on Facebook live parties. There are other really great resources for that as well um, that you can look into. So don't let that be a hang up. I do a 30 minute Facebook live party. I'm actually going to shorten it to 20 minutes this fall. And I'm going to tell you a couple, I'm going to give you a couple hints on getting the max bang for your buck in just a minute, but we'll get there in just a second. Um, I want to go back to in-person parties. Maybe you really want to focus on bingo parties this this year, this month, this season, they have been a huge, huge success for a lot of you. And they're so much stinking fun. All the details on a bingo party are on another video as well. But you, the whole point of what I'm saying is you need to decide what kind of parties you want to offer to your potential hosts. Um, I will tell you that I am personally offering Facebook live parties this fall. I'm bringing them back. I haven't done them in a while and bingo parties. And then I'm going to do some probably monthly, not an open house so much, but more of a themed party. Like I'm going to do a sip and smell sneak peek um, at the end of August. I'll do something fun in September. Another fun idea. So Instagram live party, it would work exactly like a Facebook live party. If you have an Instagram business page, you could send everybody to watch on your Instagram business page exactly like you would on your Facebook business page. Same, same thing. It doesn't have to be in an event, quote unquote. It can be on a live. Oh, that worked. Yeah. Lighting now. Yeah. It did kind of work. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could be on a live thing. Um, can you do a bingo party online? I have heard of people doing bingo parties online. I have never done one, but I'm absolutely sure if you wanted to that you could. Um, there are online bingo cards that we reference on the bingo party um, video that we've done in the past. So you could definitely do online bingo too. I'm not the person to ask about it. I haven't ever done it, but I'm sure if you wanted to figure it out, you sure, sure could. Yes, Instagram Live is the same as Facebook Live, works the same way. There's a lot of cool things that you could do, especially with Instagram and the highlights now. So if you're using stories on Instagram, there's highlight features. If you have a business page, you could utilize the highlights on your Instagram stories um, to benefit you when you're doing parties too. So many things to think about. So many things to think about. But there's a lot of ways that you could host parties. Okay, I'm going to look at my notes because I'm going to <gasps> a back to school bash. So I have a friend that lives across the street and every year she throws a, what does she call it? Oh, it's a really cute name. But on the first day of school, she has a boohoo and booze party or a something. What does she call it? Mimosas and mom. I don't know. Really adorable, but the whole idea is first day of school, we're celebrating, right? Um, we're going to go celebrate that our children are back at school. So that would be a fun thing to do if you're um, if you're a working home mom, stay-at-home mom. You could run, you could host a party in the daytime when kids go to school. Super, super fun. That would be fun. Um, of course, there's always basket parties. There are work parties where you could go. My sister-in-law, Jacqueline Roy, does this, has done this really well in the past. I don't know if you've done this recently, Jack, but she used to very, very often um, when someone would say, oh, yeah, I would love to host it. I'm tired of work a lot. Well, where do you work? She'd say, oh, I work at this realtor's office. Like, hey, can I bring chips and salsa and queso one day and just bring a little setup during your lunch time or whatever, break time, and we could just do a little party there? Absolutely. She did so many of those parties. Jack, you can give more details if you're on. But I know she did several of those parties, like a little work lunch party. And it was so fantastic. You need to know the name of the um, of the party that my friend hosted. It's on my phone. I meant to look it up before I um, got on here in a text because she made a cute invitation and everything. Is that what you're asking me about, Kaylin? It was such a cute name. 
but it was the back to school. Yes, yeah, see, Jacqueline, office parties. So good. Um, lunch bunch. I know of some girls that do a lunch bunch, and so this is something they do every single month. So it's lunch with like her best customers basically. And that's when she, I mean, stocks them up on new stuff. They smell, she focuses on something to share and they all go to lunch together. Super fun. Lunch, lunch party. You guys, there's like a million, million things that you could do. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you, how many days y'all do online parties for? So Jessica, that's a great question. Um, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail. I only do live parties online. I do not do an extended amount of time. I do a live party. I treat it exactly like it's a real home party. I do my little spill. We talk about my favorite products. I show display just like I was actually in front of them, but they're all wherever they are and I'm at home, right? And I let them order for 24 hours and then the party's closed. Um, anything longer than that. Hey babe, if you're watching, I have like a, a little person at the door. She ran away. No, she's coming back. Oh, somebody said something about margaritas. Mamacitas need margaritas. That's cute. It's <laughs> really cute. Um, something with mimosas would be cute because you're going to send your kids to school in the morning and then they could go do mimosas. Something. It would be cute. Anyways, just be creative and think of something, but focus on a few or a couple. When you are like all over the place, for one, it's very confusing for your potential host. They just want to know what you offer and they don't want to be confused by what you're asking of them. Okay. Go find daddy. Okay. She said, I'm not here. <laughs> We're coming to eat you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, a sangria sneak. Oh, a sangria and sneak peek. That is so cute, we'll Kelsey. See the mommy. Yeah, I see the mommy. We'll see the mommy. No. I oh, love you. Oh, you can't sit with mommy. <laughs> okay, one, it's okay, Jamie. Seconds. We're talking about different kinds of parties. I'm glad that you're here. So that's a lot of ideas of all different kinds of parties. Good morning from Australia. We're so glad you're joining us. Shake it. So. Shake it. Let's talk about what we do about that. Now, we talked to, oh, oh, I know what I was going to say. Stop. Yeah, she's got to go. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Love you. Maybe medicine and milk. Um, mommy show. Mommy show, she said. So, a couple things. We always want to be working smarter, not harder. So, I'm going to give you two ideas, and I want them to, like, rummage in your brain and you can decide what to do with them. You can decide if they're right for you or not. Remember, everything needs to be um, weighed against what's actually best for your business. So I'm really, I told you I'm really focusing on bingo parties and Facebook live parties. Now, would I love to have six, eight parties a month? Yes. Does it fit in my schedule? No, it doesn't. Not at all. So I'm always thinking, how can I be more efficient when it comes to parties? Here's an idea. And I've actually tried this a little bit with Facebook Live, and I just didn't try it hard enough, but I'm doing it now. So with my Facebook Live parties, I always have a host, and my host invites their friends. Now, I've always, last fall, that's how I ran my business, was Facebook Live parties, because I had surgery, I was getting ready to have surgery, anyways. Um, and it worked really well, but six nights out of the month, I was doing six a month, 30 minutes I was doing the live party, then 30 minutes at least afterwards I was taking in orders and doing whatever, which is all fine. And that's still pretty efficient. I'm not taking anything anywhere. Everything's already set up in my home. Really cool. But um, I just started thinking, how can I make this even more efficient? So I started and I tried it a little bit in the spring um, where I had more than one host on one Facebook live party. There's zero reason that it can't work. I mean, there's a million reasons it can and should work. So what I'm doing is offering only one date in September when I'm doing a Facebook live party and I'm going to try to book four to five hosts on that same date, same date, same time. Um, so I'll acknowledge all of them, but what it does is several things. It increases your interaction on the party, which also increases the chances that it will get shared, that other people will see it who may not see it, right? And then it also is just, it streamlines everything. So all of my host coaching happens at one time because my hosts are all hosting on the same date at the same time, right? And et cetera, et cetera. So that's just one way to think of how can I be more efficient when it comes to my business? Right. Okay. 
just an idea. Let it roll around in your brain. See what you want to do with it. I'm doing the same thing with my bingo parties. So I have a space that I have access to in my town. It's actually a female co-working space. That's an office that I office out of. And because I office out of it, I get a discounted rate when I rent it. So I can rent it for $25 for however long I want to have a party. Uh, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to offer my hosts that want to do bingo the option to do it at their home if they want to. But I'm also going to offer the option of the party at the collective. So it's not really an office space. It's really beautiful space. We've shot some things from there before. But really beautiful space set up perfectly for bingo. I provide the food and drinks. They bring their tents in one night. That's 30 women in a room at one time that I can have. So basically, I'm doing three bingo parties at once, right? So it could be a horrible idea. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. But it seems like a really smart idea to me. First of all, there's so many things. You know that when you get women in a room, the more conversation there is about the product, the more excitement there is, the more energy, the better it goes for everybody. So um, I'm really, really excited about that because I'm always just trying. I, I started this business so I could stay home with my baby so we could travel, so we could do all these amazing things, so I could be at their um, everything. Like, horse shows and all the things that we do. I want to be there, right? So the smarter I can work my business, the better. So Alexa, that's a great question. She says, how would you split up the free and half price? Each host would earn the credit for her consultants or for her customer or her, not her customer, her friends and family's orders. So it would still separate like three parties essentially. Um, so let's say Ashley, I'm using your name because I can see it. Ashley's my, one of my hosts. Um, Diane is another host and Aaron is another host. Everybody that Aaron invites, all of those orders go towards her party order. Same for Diane and same for Ashley, right? So it's basically like three small separate parties just all happening at one time. Oh, I'm so sorry, Amanda's husband, not just women, men too. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, men. Um, so I hope that at least get your brain thinking a little bit before we start booking. Um, each table could be a party. That That's a really great idea, especially um, you could kind of like separate it like that if you wanted to. When I do bingo parties, I usually, well, I set the tables and I put name cards out. So I could absolutely have, because when you do a bingo party, you have to know who's coming, which I love that, right? It's like Thanksgiving dinner. You better RSVP. And your host has to have a certain number of people come. I do six to 10. Um, I really like 10. I always tell them it's 10, but I will take six. So um, shh, don't tell them if my hosts are watching, it needs to be 10 people, <laughs> but I'll take six because six makes a great party too. Um, also I turned the thought, but yes, I could essentially set the tables up by host. Really fun idea. Okay. Where do I go live for live parties? I have a Facebook business page and I go live, um, on my business page. And you can go look at my business page and see all my past live Facebook parties. So um, that's just how I do it. It's how I've always done it. Um, I think that's what I got taught. It is what I got taught. Um, I learned everything I know about Facebook live parties from Kimberly Polito. Wait, let me think about if that's what she taught me or not before I say that. I think that's what she taught me. I'm not really sure. But I do all my, um, what's the word? Public. A lot of people do it private. It's it's really it's it's up to you, totally up to you. Um, if you search sense with sense with the donkeys, you'll find it. I'm getting ready to change it to life. Should smell good. That's why you'll see my branding is bad right now. Okay, I got ready. It's time to play. We're gonna play. So we're having a booking blitz, but it's a game. It's a game too. Are you ready? Here's the goal: fill your August and September calendar. Okay, so. Let me show you a couple things. Um, I'm going to show you my August calendar. This is my real life August calendar. You can't really see anything. It doesn't matter. But what I want to show you is a couple things. So I have on here a, um, an asterisk. This is a date I want booked. This is one of the days I'm going to do my global Facebook Live. And what I mean by global is I'm going to have multiple hosts. That's the goal anyways, is I want multiple hosts on this date. Um, oh, somebody said they do them on their VIP page. That's a great idea. They do their Facebook Live parties on the VIP page. 
It's really great. I don't have a VIP page, but if you did, maybe that's smart. I don't know. Um, Edian Tech Gummit. I can't ever say your last name. Someone type Edian's last name for me. Um, thank you. <laughs> and Kimberly Polito. They are really, they're really the Facebook party gurus, honestly. Everything that I do, I learn from them. And I probably need to go brush up on my education because I haven't really looked lately. But seriously, they're fantastic. Um, I have another day. I want to do Facebook Live. I have it marked. Thank you, Diane. I was going to say Diana. That's not your name. I thought my Dinah or Dina. Sorry. It doesn't matter, does it? But I, it does matter because I want to say your name right. Um, I also have some Sundays booked. So Sundays are the days that I will offer a afternoon Scentsy party to my hosts that want to host in their home. Um, that's why I have asterisks there. That means I want them booked. Everybody's telling me Edie's last name now. <laughs> um, and then I have my sip and smell sneak peek scheduled. I'm not doing a, a personal bingo in um, August. I will do. I have some booked in September. Now, here's a couple things I want to tell you. You need to know what you have available based on your life. Everything that happens in your life needs to be in your calendar first, and then. And then you need to move on from there to decide when you want things booked. Somebody asked me, how do you know when to book things if you don't really know what's going to be happening that month? That's why I only do two months at a time. But um, for the most part, I know that some of you have kiddos in sports and you don't have schedules. And that does make it super, super tricky. Um, but that's totally up to you. Like how you figure out how to manage your business, right? Um I forgot what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. I gotta stop reading all of your comments because it gets me sidetracked. Here's some tips. We're getting ready to have a booking blitz. Don't start yet, but we're getting ready to. Couple tips. Here's what I want you to do: decide on what kind of parties you're going to offer first, and who you're going to offer them to. So I have a whole like plethora of people who are my Facebook Live hosts. They are fantastic Facebook Live hosts. They host for me all the time on Facebook Live and they're all my contacts. They're out of state. And I get more people added to my list from Facebook Live parties than almost anything else. A lot of times when I do things local, I'll already know some of those people or they know of me. Right, right, right. So um, it's totally up to you. But um Come it. I gotta. I have to swipe you all away because I keep reading your things, and I know you're asking me questions, but I keep losing my train of thought, and that's just not me. It's not helpful. I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, it's too many squirrels. <laughs> losing my train of thought. So decide what kind of parties you're going to offer and to whom on your contact list, because there are some people that I know. Like for instance, I have a really great customer. She she needs to come back and be on my team. She used to be a Cincy consultant. Um, she will do a home party all day long. She'll do a home party. She'll host a bingo party. She would do a Facebook live party, but she'll do a home party. And I'd much rather her do a home party. Um, because it's just usually the sales in a bingo party are much higher than a Facebook live party. So I definitely want her to host a Facebook or a bingo party. So that's what I'm going to offer her. If she just says, no way, I have too much going on. What about a Facebook live party? 20 minutes online. Here's the dates I have, right? Another tip. Um, When they're interested, offer them two dates. So start by two months. Would August or September work better for you? August is our sale month. September will be our brand new catalog. Um, offer them two dates, which works better for you. And then when they give you the month, I'm sorry, offer them two months. When they give you the month, then offer them two dates in that month. The first two dates you're going to offer are always going to be the earliest in the month. So what we want to do is front load our calendar as much as possible. And what I mean by front load is when you're looking at your calendar, we want as much as possible. We want as much PRV to happen in the first two weeks as possible. Because what does that do? We're in a month-to-month -month sales based business. So the more I can front load my calendar, the more I'm sure that I'm not going to get to the end of the month and be like, oh, crap. Also, if I have somebody cancel the very first week, I'm much more likely to be able to reschedule them to the third or fourth week of the month when they're in the fourth month or the fourth week 
I might be able to schedule them to the next month, but then I've lost those sales for that month. Does that make sense? Okay, so we want to offer the first two dates we have available first. So they say, yes, I'm interested in Facebook Live Party. Awesome. I have Thursday, um, August 2nd available. Does that work for you? Or I could also give her another date or, you know, or I, or I have the 12th, whatever. Give her two choices. If neither one of those dates works, offer her a later date, et cetera. Does that make sense? I just asked you a question and I swiped you away so I can't even see what you're saying anymore. <laughs> um, okay, now, where do you start when it comes to contacts? Um, hopefully you already have a contact list. Hopefully you have your um, friends, your family, your customers, your past hosts. If you're brand new, you don't have past hosts, but that's okay. You're starting with you and that's okay. So um, everybody knows people. You start with the people that you know. What are the benefits of hosting? Name them. There's a million lists. Free product. They have the, offered the ability to earn a kit, half price product. They get to stock up on all their favorites, right? In August, we have that really great special where our hosts can earn the Disney Princess Collection and host rewards, which is not going to be possible any other time. So that's really, really great. <gasps> you could do a Disney party. Oh my gosh, you could do a Disney party. <laughs> you guys already thought of that and it just came to me. It's fine. <gasps> do a Disney princess party like in October around Halloween how fun would that be you wouldn't even have to do it around Halloween the little girls would dress up like a princess anytime <gasps> oh, <God. laughs> that's see I'm a total goofball I hope your brain works like this where you're like I didn't think of that <laughs> oh that's great okay are you ready let me make sure I don't have any more tips for me for you Yep, give them two options. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get ready. Oh, one well, what, what are you trying to do? We're talking about doing Disney movie night parties. Done. Disney parties. Well, I missed it because I was being distracted. I also want to you confirm or deny that we might shoot a video tonight just so we can do a quick mock Facebook Live party to show them. Deny because I've already done it. Oh, will you tell them about that? Yeah. So those of you asking me to do a Facebook live party, this girl came to my door at that time. I would love to book a Disney party with you, Caitlin. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. And Jennifer, whatever I said about princess bars, I meant to say August. If I said September, I'm really sorry about that. Um, Joanna said, is that out of compliance? If that's a great question. She's asking, hey, babe, if you get a hot second and you want to look up the Scentsy Disney rules, see if we can have a Disney party. I mean, surely that's not out of compliance. You've got to be able to have a Disney party. I don't know if you can advertise it. So that's the thing. Carol says, I don't know if we can advertise. And I agree. I'm not sure if we can advertise it. But there's no reason that you couldn't um, offer that to your host you can offer that one-on-one -on -one to a host and then that can be the party. I mean, they can send out invitations, right? I, I just don't feel like, I feel like that would be, but we all have to be so careful and not break any rules because good Lord, we don't want to lose Disney. So don't break any rules. Um, yeah. She said, I'm not hosting or decorating. So if your host decides to decorate and theme her party Disney, that's totally fine. What does it say, Pam, in the training FAQ about Disney and Princess Party? Probably not a Disney party. My leg is going to sleep. That's bad. That's bad. That's better. Okay. Um, a couple questions, and then we're going to book parties. Do you only choose Thursdays and Sundays, and why? I only choose Thursdays and Sundays because they're the only things that work for me. Um, Tuesdays is always online stuff. Success Wednesdays, Brian's at church. I have in the past done Facebook live parties on Wednesday night. It's harder for me because I'm putting a little spit on myself and then have to get ready for a party. It's a little bit harder. Um, so I don't tend to, I like Thursdays and Sunday afternoons the best. We go to church on Saturday nights. So Sunday afternoon works really well for me. So it's okay, babe. Um, so let me just say this, whatever, 
party type you decide to have, um, just make sure that it's compliant. And I am not going to tell you what's compliant right now. I'm pretty sure you can't say it's a Disney party. I'm pretty sure you could say it's a princess party. So, yeah. And here's the thing. If you are, if you have a host who wants to have a princess party, then there's no reason your invitations can't be princess party invitations and whatever. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Again, here's the goal. Fill your calendar for August and September. Now, I told you we're playing a game, and here's what it is. Um, every time you book a party, I want you to say, make a comment, I booked a party. Every party that you book is a random draw. It'll basically turn into a number um, for several prizes that we're going to give out in 24 hours that may or may not be some things that we were given at SFR. So the more parties you book, you want it. Here's what you want to do. Every party you book, you want it to be a separate comment because each comment gets you more chances to win, right? Okay. Are we all on the same page? Someone asked for a script. I'm not like a scripty person. So every single one of my invites is going to sound different. I will tell you this. I always... I always ask via text, always. I'm just not a phone person. Most of my customers are not phone people. Most of the way that we communicate is via text. And so that's how I will ask every single time. Um, now, if it's late, here's the thing. This, like, not competition, but this game. Um, look, we already have one candy book to party. Your comments will be good for 24 hours. So any comments that are placed by the end of tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m., um, go into the drawing. So if you can't do it now, what I would want you to, yes, you can comment in the next 20, 24 hours. What I would want, what I do want you to do right now is make your game plan. If you don't have, Candy booked another party. Y'all, you better get busy because Candy's already booked two. Cassandra booked a party. Yes, YouTube comments count. They all count. Um, Sandy booked a party. I love it. <gasps> I need a party horn. I should get out my confetti gun. Do you want me to get my confetti gun? I have a confetti gun. <laughs> it's very loud. It's very, very loud. Uh, yes, start. Go now. Kaylin, go now. It doesn't really matter how fast you do it. You have 24 hours to do it. But the more you can do right now, the better. Also, um, if you're not, if it's too late for you right now or too early or it's middle of the night, um, what you can be doing right now is deciding what is the kind of what are the kind of parties I want booked. Stacy, congratulations. Cassandra booked another one. Courtney got a party book. Y'all are killing it. Um, Pam booked a last chance first glance. A princess sip and see. Yes, y'all are amazing. Oh, if you want to tell what kind it is, that's really cool too because it helps other people see what you're doing. Um, can you post about a ten percent off party? Yes, because it's 10% off for everyone in August. So, yes, you can. Right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Good Lord. Oh, I was afraid I'm going to tell you something wrong. I don't post a ton on social media unless I know, no, 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 no for sure that it's within compliance. Because <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. But also because most of my relationships with my hosts and my customers are more one-on-one -on -one than they are on social media. Um, I don't book a ton of parties from posting on social media. Some of you might, but... I don't. If any of you are texting right now and you want to copy and paste the text that you're sending just to give some ideas, that would be super helpful. Cassandra booked another one, and so did Courtney. Another sip and sniff for August for Pam. Fantastic. A Facebook Live party for Sierra. Hey, Stacy. last chance, first glance. You got it backwards, but yay for booking a party. <laughs> Yes, I know you're busy messaging. Keep, keep doing it. I'm going to get my confetti gun out in a minute. Um, got one booked for September 1st. Hey, you guys, 
while you're booking, I want you to keep booking and I want you to keep messaging. And if you're using Facebook Messenger, whatever you're doing, keep doing it while we're here. And I want you to keep telling me when you book um, and what kind of parties you're booking. There's a bingo party for Stacy. Fantastic. Oh, Delinda got a home party for August 23rd. Pouch party's happening. Yes. Y'all are amazing. A party booked for August. A snip and snip. A sip and sniff for, for Sandy. Lexi, what do you mean what do I use for a Facebook Live party? Like, what do I ask? What do I say? I, I say to people, hey, I'm hosting. I'll say something. This is what I would say if I were trying to book a Facebook Live party right now. If it was somebody who hadn't been a host before, I'd say, hey, I know how much you're sensing, and I was thinking it might be about time to stock up, but I thought you might be interested in hosting one of my 30-minute Facebook Live parties. They're all online. You just need to have 10 to 12 guests in attendance. Um, it happens live, 30 minutes. Everybody can have their jammies on. Yes, Jacqueline, I want to put you on. Um, I'm going to put Jacqueline on. She just sent me a text. So something like that. Um Remember, when you're wording things and when you're talking to your hosts, Jack, comment so I can see you because I'll never find you. Say something and then I'll pull you on. She has an idea she wants to share. Um, when you're asking to asking someone to book a party for or like host, always remember that you want to focus on what their interests and their desires are. Like why would they want to host? because they're gonna get free and half price stuff. Some of your friends and family may just really love to host. I love to host, like I love to host, I love to have people over, I love to go buy wine, I love to put out snacks, I love it. So like, even if someone just asks me, hey, do you wanna get some free jewelry and whatever, host a party? Yeah, sure, like it's not, I'm not a hard sell. Um, but always be thinking about your friends and your family about how they want. Jacqueline, comment so I can find you. Another last chance first glance. I love it. I want to share something I learned from Jen Audette. She has, she plays the card game at her parties, which I have played this so much. Jerry's having a text party. Jerry, we're going to need to talk about this. She said she's having a text party. Do you want to come on and talk to us about a text party? I've never done this. It sounds amazing. We all want to have a text party right now. Okay, I'm pulling Jacqueline on. I want to tell you something about Jen Audette, and then I'm going to try to get Jerry on. Oh, hold. Sorry, YouTube. Bring Jacqueline on camera. Okay, here we go. Here she comes. She's going to have a great idea. Oh, she has an idea she wants to share. Okay, talk about Jen. Or Jen, you can come on and talk. What's close? Your face? Hi, this is Jacqueline. This is Jacqueline Roy, my sister-in-law. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. So, um, a few people have said, hey, host a party with me with a new fall winter catalog. So, I've got some for August. I'm trying to get September. And I said, um, and uh, I'll make it work so you can get some of the Disney stuff for your half price. So, I don't know if I should say this publicly, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. But what I'm going to do, because I'm like, yeah, I'm convincing these people to host to get Disney stuff, but then they won't be able to order any of it if they have an $800 party, which is why I'm going to try to shoot for all of them to at least have, right? So um, in my mind, I'm like, well, what I'll do is if they want a buddy that's 35, and if someone ordered a $35 warmer, then I'll switch the $35 warmer to half price. That's what they want for half price. Maybe the Disney, you know, that, you know, that makes hey, you know, $35 credit. I'm going to do that um, buddy with the um, credit or with the like order regular and then get a $35 customer warmer um, from someone to do that as free. Does that make sense to kind of swap it out? It does make so sense. Thinking, man, this Disney collection is amazing, but they can't order at all being a host. So I hope it's okay to share that. I mean, I'm, I know people do that, but I it just dawned on me that I just got uh, another three yeses now because I told them that I would help them work with them to get some of the Disney stuff for free half price if they host. And I put a disclaimer, you can't technically get it for free half price, but I'm going to work with you to see if we can get some of it. So I hope that's is that okay to share. I mean, oh, I just realized she's not on YouTube. Right. Oh, I'm trying to give you YouTubers the video, the sound. 
Oh, uh, all the YouTubers. Microphone. I'm really <laughs> sorry. I was just listening over here on Facebook Live, and I was so happy, and I realized that she's not on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Can y'all hear her on YouTube? Yeah, can y'all hear her on YouTube? Anyways, that's a fantastic idea. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like I'm convincing them then saying, oh, yeah, in my most friends, but you can't get any of the stuff I convinced you to look at party with for free offer. Right. Yeah. So I'm just going to, if Ali, if you're my host, I'm going to shoot a goal of the home party for $800. Love I'm going to shoot for 500 Got a girl. For 800 Because we have the Disney collection. If they might, my rich next girlfriend, they should be able to sell a few hundred Disney Disney stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And then, for people that order, you know, something non Disney, I'll swap that for what the host wanted, right? Yeah. And put this stuff, you know, and then swap it so that way they can get their Disney for free price. Fantastic. It's just an idea. It's just a light bulb moment. No, that's great. Thanks for sharing. Good work, Jack. Yeah. And I think I just booked another one. Okay. Um, yeah. You, you, get, you, you get back to book and parties. What'd you say? I said you get back to book and parties then. You're the bomb. Bomb.com. Get, get back to book and parties. Oh, girl, I'm on it. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay say later. Bye. Okay. Fantastic idea. You should try to pull someone on YouTube so that way they can see too. Can I pull somebody on YouTube? I don't know. I don't think so. Get your all up in my grill. You gotta get off my space, baby. Like, you're touching me. Oh, no. No, stop. No, they're really busy and you weird. need to okay. stop. Right. You're being weird. Not We're in my personal space. These are some moments that I had. Okay. How are we doing? Are you good? Shoot. There's no watch. Okay. Um, come it. What's wrong with my... Yes. She is pretty brilliant. Make it work with what you got. That's right. Okay. Y'all are still slamming it. You're killing it. While you're still booking, I want to talk about a couple ideas that I have for those of you that are leaders of your teams. Now... We have really great opportunity for one, for people to come back into Cincy with reinstatements and with Workstation Lite and how easy that is for people to come back. But also sometimes the trouble that people have with sponsoring and building their team is that they don't quite know what to say. So as a leader, it might be a really great idea for you to think about booking an opportunity chat. Um, call it whatever you want. Some of you come up with a really cute name. Some of you are already doing this. Cassandra and Courtney are killing it. I should you know they're on YouTube booking a gazillion parties over here. <laughs> um, so um, an opportunity chat would be something that you would do on Zoom or Facebook Live or something like that where your team members could invite people that they've planted the seeds with, had those conversations about joining the team with, but they're not quite sure how to seal the deal or what to say. Um, so it would be a really great chance to share success stories, talk about why other people joined. Um, some of the opportun opportunity nights that we've done in the past, some of the very best ones were where we just really kind of worked through three kind of simple things. Why are you thinking about joining? Uh, what are your hesitations? What are the things that you know you're worried about when it comes to joining? And what would you do with an extra thousand dollars a month? And just getting them to start to vis visualize that. You ask them the second question about um, what, you know, what are their hesitations? So you can help them overcome, you can overcome all those obstacles, right? Because we have so many ways, um, that you can be successful in this business. And then I also ask the same thing of the consultants who are consultants. Hey, when you joined, why did you want to join? What were the things you were worried about? They're usually the very same things that everybody else says. And it's a great way, um, to give your team members some confidence when it comes to recruiting. So that's a really good idea. Um, so you might want to schedule an opportunity meeting, just throwing it out there. Then also, dad gum it. What is wrong with these stinking? I thought it all like went away and just my just my no, why are they not? Oh, Becca says she's gonna attempt a Snapchat party. I love that. I think you could make it happen. I you just have to like play with the details of it. I totally think you could, and I know that you can do an Instagram party. I know it can happen. Um, I haven't done it personally, but I know that it can happen. Y'all are killing it. Booked a party in September online. Fan freaking tastic. That is awesome. Okay. I don't know why my comments aren't. Do y'all know why my comments aren't updating? Like I'm all the way to the bottom and then I have to keep pushing it all the way up. Somebody says Zoom parties are amazing. Never done a Zoom party. You guys, the opportunities out there are so ridiculously huge on what you can do and how you can run this business. It's crazy to me. You could literally do whatever you want. Okay. Keep commenting. I want to share another thing. Um, oh, 
my team is doing a dinner and movie night because Christopher Robin comes out on August 3rd. That's a Friday night. We're going to go do a dinner and a movie. Super fun little team building thing. And you could bring Winnie and um, Ticker with you, right? So fun. Not an original idea. Oh, shoot. Lindsay, whatever you said, I'm sure that it is fantastic, but I can't see the rest of it. Um, Jerry, what are the chances you scheduled your text for the morning? Jerry, what are the chances you want to tell me about a text party? So you would do an Instagram party just like you would do a Facebook Live party. Um, exact same concept. I have an Instagram business page. That's where I would do it if it were me. But if you don't have one, that's okay. Um, two parties in August. I have no idea what a Zoom party is, but someone is doing them. <laughs> so Zoom is an online chat, video chat, where you have everybody on video chat. Um, that could be helpful. Hey, whoever just said I haven't gotten one yet, what am I doing wrong? Will you post what you're writing to people? You guys, your words matter so, so, so much. Your words matter so much. Um, the way that you say things matters. If you will, sh if you're willing to share with us, we would love to look at what you're writing. Yes, Shonda said, what are you saying? Because your words really matter. And sometimes when you haven't done this a long time, it's harder to say the right things. So I hope that helps. Heather booked another sip and sniff. Y'all are killing it. Jerry, what is I mean? I want to know about a text party. Either tell us or let me bring you on camera. You want me to bring you on? Also, somebody said no one's answering me. Um, that's fine too. People don't immediately follow or respond to texts and that's okay. Um, but absolutely follow up. A lot of times people will look at a text, think to respond. They're in the middle of something and then they forget, right? Um, so follow up too. Hey, did you see my text last week? If you don't want to book a party, no problem. I just want to follow up and make sure that if you did want one, I could get a date. We could get your date scheduled, right? Um, yeah, Aaron, share with us what you're texting. That's fantastic. Or what you're typing. Uh, Jennifer said, I booked a party with my travel agent. She wants Disney stuff for her Disney display in her office. That's amazing. I love it. Yes, Jamie says always end with a question. So one of the things you want to get in the habit of doing when you're communicating with your customers is always having um, a call to action. So the call to action is a direct question or a prompt to buy or something like that. We want to have call to action. Now, not you don't want that every time you communicate with your customers, but when you're trying to book parties, absolutely, you want to be very direct in what you're asking so that they need to respond to you. Okay, um, Joy, can I bring you on? Oh, Brian says that's not exciting. Audrey didn't get to read it. Jerry, Jerry. Hold on, I got to find her. I'm just going to bring her on. We'll see. She could decline me, but she don't care. Hold on. Oh, and I want to tell you something about that I learned about in Jen Audette's class. Hold on, y'all. It's like so many of you, and I have to find her. Jerry, okay. Oh, no, you're not, you're not able. I can't bring her on. She's going to have to type it. It wouldn't let me bring her on screen. Hold on, it won't let me bring you on screen, Jer. I just tried. Uh, YouTube, y'all are doing fantastic. I don't know why it won't let me bring you on screen, but it won't. It's like, doesn't give me the option. So Audrey said, she is saying, hey, Sally, how are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. I can't listen to that. Okay. And well, let me tell you what she said and what I told her back. She said, hey, Sally, how are you doing that? I can't wait to show you the new stuff. I saw coming out at Sensei Family Reunion. When can you book, um, when can we book a party for you so I can show you? 
And I just said, that's not exciting enough. What I told them to say is something along the lines of, since he just partnered with Disney to create some amazing new products, only three evenings left to book a party for August, list the dates. Do you want one? They're filling out fast. I will take care of all the details. Just let me know what night you want. Something along those lines. Yeah, something she you said. You have to create some. Let me see what she what said. said. No, I want to see what she said. Uh, damn. You have to create some. Um, there has to be some level of. I will say, Audrey, I don't like the line, when can we book a party for you so I can show you? I don't know why. I yeah. just don't like it. It's not exciting. It's almost like you're trying to push one over on them or something. Yeah, I don't know. There's got to be some excitement yeah. and some like, hey, if you don't get in on this now, you're going to miss out. There's got to be that feeling. So that's why I said I only have three dates left for August. Put in the dates. And it's fine to just say, hey, we do. I, I'm offering two kinds of parties this fall for you to earn three and a half price stuff, whatever kind you're doing. Um, and just say, would you be interested in one of those um, to invite your friends, make it super simple, whatever. But words matter so much. It's really, I mean, it matters. Okay, Jerry, I'm going to try. I still can't bring you on. I have no idea why. I think when I clicked on Jacqueline, it let me. Are you on your phone now? God, come it. She's here. I know, but it won't let me bring her on. Because I don't mark on my phone and just hold my phone up. <laughs> and they can both see it. I don't know, it's not working. Hey, Jerry. Hi, Casey. Marco me on your phone with the details of all of it, I will pull you on here so both YouTube and Facebook can hear and see you. Hey, Whitney. And speak loud. Um, I get nervous in home parties too, still, and I've been doing them for a decade, a, an entire decade, and I still get nervous at home parties every single time. And I think that's okay. But I've also put systems in place that make me more comfortable so that I can kind of more thrive in a party environment and I'm not like so like nervous that no one can connect with me, right? Um, I'm going to try Jerry one more time. It's not working. <gasps> got you. I got her. 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 She's coming. Her's coming. Okay, Jerry's going to tell us about a text party. Y'all ready for that? I'm ready for that. It says adding. It's just... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on. We're trying to get Jerry on camera so she can tell us about a text party, but it's just adding very, very slowly. Or she's not accepting me. She said she would. Um, are y'all still booking? Don't forget. Another Facebook Live party for September. Why does it still say adding? No answer from the live host guest. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Because uh, I want to know about a text party. She said it's simple. I guess I could probably guess at how she does it, but... Let's just better find her. Hey, tell Courtney you booked another party. You're slamming it. No, what's not working? Oh, this says I can't bring her on camera. Blah. Jerry, you're going to have to text us. Hey, oh, she marked you? I said she did. That's why she wasn't answering. I got it to work. I hope you can hear me. Okay. So, text party. Pause it real fast. Just... Can y'all hear that? Before we let her speak. You might not be able to see her really well because it's hard. It doesn't matter at seeing her. Can you hear her? We're getting creative up in here, y'all. This is how we do. We're merging social media with social All the media. social medias. We got it's YouTube, amazing. Facebook, and Marco Polo happening right here. Yeah, right. Like the... They can hear her. Okay. okay. Let's roll. Here we go. I want to show you. Here is our August, and you can tell the school starts. And when you are chasing kids, 
I hardly have even a minute to think about home parties, events, stuff like that. So I did last fall text parties. Super simple. I just ask girls to um, text 10 to 15 of their um, Sensi loving friends if they want to buy some Sensi. And I do the script for her. I make it really easy. I share some of our um, promotions that are going on and all she has to do is copy paste what I send to her, sent to her 10 to 15 Sensi loving friends, not just anybody, but people she knows love Sensi, collect orders and she gets free and half price items. Super, super simple. Any Thanks. questions? Fan freaking tastic. There you go. You're like a small little genius. Did y'all catch that? Did you hear what she said? <laughs> she does text. So very similar to a Facebook live party, but no video for you. No um, like certain time frame. Jerry, here's a question. I have a question. Do you give them a time frame? Like, oh, would you know, like message everybody in the next 24 hours or two days or like, what's that look like for you? Oh, I love it. I'm going to let her answer me. Okay. While you're messaging still, while you're still telling me that you're booking, remember, you get to win things. Text okay. sale. She responded again. Right, oh, yeah. Sure. She responded again. Okay. They get 48 hours. That is it. I don't want them dragging it on. They get 48 hours to collect the orders to get a free gift from me. April said mind blown. Mine too, April. I am literally like, also, Jerry, what the heck, friend? Really? Like, I can't. Keeping I, that in your back pocket? Yeah, really? Like, I tell you all my secrets and you don't tell me that? Fool. Deck on the floor. You're going to. You. you <laughs> that's fantastic. That is so freaking fantastic. Now you want to put text parties on your list because that's great. Because also, if somebody really does want free and half price, so you think about your best Cincy lovers, the people that love Cincy, and they just don't have time to host, right? To, you see the time to book. Oh, thank you. You don't need that? No. Okay. No. Really okay, great. Um, you know, when you have someone say, I just can't show up at Bingo. I just, I can't do a Facebook live party. I don't have the margin. You know, whatever reasons. It's all good stuff. Um. They can absolutely, who could not, who doesn't have time to send a text to 10 people? You know, I love it. I really, 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 you are a genius. 48 hours. Give them a time frame. hundred percent. Okay. Fantastic. Jerry, thank you for sharing. Holy moly. Not a group text. She says, hit them up. Uh, another home party book for September 8th, Stacy slaying it fantastic and i'm gonna tell you about a, a party game i love this i've done this game before a million times but i had never thought of it like this i learned this in jen audette's class um she said it is a really great idea jerry <laughs> So she said she does the card game at all her parties. So she, one of the things I heard her say that really resonated with me is, is that she said, you want to inspire, not inform. So we want to inspire people with our products, with our opportunity. We don't want to just be a ton of information. That's why catalog walks can be very boring because it's just a lot of information. When you can inspire instead, much, much better. She was really talking about sponsoring, but it works too. That whole concept. Because I just, I want this to be, uh, it's not real. The whole con it, it will it fixed in a minute ago. The whole concept of inspiring over informing is good. So, but this is what she does. She plays a game at her party. It's called the card game. And many of you have played this, I'm sure, but she uses a deck of cards. And every time they ask a question, anybody asks a question, they get a card. And the person with the most points, poker style, at the end, when the cards are all gone, wins a prize. And she said, I always make the prize really great. So they, you know, want to win. And they get really competitive asking questions. But what she does, and this is the part that's brilliant, because many of you have probably heard about the card, card game, and that's fun. But what she does is every place she's gone with Sensi, every place she's traveled, every 
family reunion, every um, incentive trip she's earned, she gets a deck of cards from that place. And then she uses those cards. So she'll mix her cards. Um, so she might have Disneyland cards in there and Greece and Italy and Spain and Boise, Idaho and Dallas, Texas, all the places that we have been with Cincy. And as she's handing that card, she says, Oh, you got the Disneyland card. We went to Cincy Family Reunion at Disneyland. So it turns also into this whole story about where you have been with Cincy because of business trips or because of um, free trips that you've earned, right? I really, I love, love, love that idea. It makes me super. A bippity boppity basket party. That is precious. You hear that little yeah, I heard little fat feet running. So there you go. Card game. It could literally be the entire like bulk of your party. All the information could just be people asking questions. So they get a catalog to look through. They get to raise their hand to ask you a question. They get a card every time they ask. Person with the most points at the end wins. Super, super fun idea. So how are we doing? How many parties do you have booked? I'm going to give you a chance right now to get a whole nother entry into our drawing um, by telling how many total that you've booked right all tonight so far. Remember, our giveaway is going to be for the next 24 hours. So if you post, watch, post, and book by 9 o'clock Central Time tomorrow night, then you're in drawing to win. Um, whatever fun goodies we might be giving away, which I mentioned might be some things that we got at Reunion. Who is going to be going through all these messages? We're doing a random number generator. So... We're going to number all of you. Yeah, no, I. I got it under control. No, I got it under control. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like that. I end up being the one that has to figure this, these things out. No, we got happens. it under control. Don't you worry. All right. Um, so we have three, three, three. Um, Jocelyn said, I've had my nine-year-old daughter host a party with me with her friends and their moms loved it. That's adorable. Another three, a basket party in August. Kaylin got one booked. So remember, every time you book one over the next 24 hours, come back and post so you have a chance to win. Oh, I love it. I love it. Y'all are fantastic. Stay with it, Audrey. You'll get one or two or three. Three. She's saying Lisa, three. two. Hey, and here's the thing. You just ask people. Not everyone, like I said, is going to get right back to you, and that is totally fine. Also, I'm going to be doing my personal booking blitz tomorrow. All I had done is prepped my calendar and figured out what kind of parties I was having. But I have my contact list, and I'm doing it tomorrow. I'll be Facebook live Not Facebook live I'll be putting some of it on my Facebook stories. So if you want to watch and see what I'm doing. You can check it out there. Um, but that's all I have for you tonight. I can't wait to see how many parties we totally booked because it's going to be pretty fantastic. We'll try and to come up with a date If anybody wants to post number. their message that they're sending, I yes. think Shauna might have, somebody else might have, um, help sisters out. You know what I mean? Yes, because words Some matter. Some people are struggling. Words matter so, so much. much. Yeah. Just changing a couple different words in your verbiage, in your approach, can totally change the perception of the message. Absolutely. So remember that your words matter. Remember that you want to work smarter, not harder. Courtney booked seven parties. Oh, yeah. Freaking killing it. Poor Courtney. She's killing it. Um, you want to work smarter, not harder. So make sure that what you're offering works with your family and your lifestyle. Don't okay. overbook. Overbooking is a thing, and it will drive you into the ground. And there is also something to be said about exclusivity. When I was doing Facebook live parties, I got to where I would only offer three a month and I had some hosts who would miss out on a month because they didn't book in time. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, but the fact that they knew, shoot, like she only has so much time and I, she's really exclusive with her time and I really want to host another party because it's so easy and it's so much fun and I earn so much free stuff. Then they're the first to respond when I open up my next month, right? There is something to be said about exclusivity. It's sometimes saying I'm completely free all of August whenever you want to book. It's too much. So when you can say these are the dates that I have available, um, if you're offering a good enough product and a good enough um, 
service and the way that you're hosting parties, people will be drawn to it and they will want in on it. Same thing has happened to us in bingo where we've had to turn people away at times because I've said so many spots we had and we ran out. Like that's a really great problem to have and it creates this sense of urgency and that really, really matters. Okay. So think about that too. You don't need to be completely available all the time. Sorry, James. I said to help a sister out. Help a sister or a brother out. All right. Um, Fawn, I have an entire Facebook Live party video on online sub success. When you're on this page, online sub success, you can go to the videos tab and go back and scroll all of our videos. One of them says Facebook Live parties, and it is detailed. I actually do a mock Facebook Live party in that party, so you can see exactly what my structure looks like. Um, one of the ways that I will make sure that I get things straight is each host will have her own Google. Um, well, I use Google order. I use Google, what's the word? Docs, Google forms. I use Google forms for my order sheet, order forms. So they have to put their host name. So that's how I ensure that each host gets their proper um, credit. And I'll double check with my host as well. Just making sure these are the people that you invited, right? So fantastic. Bibbidi boppity brilliant. Or there's yeah. I'm just trying to get to the bottom. Okay. Y'all are amazing. I can't wait to hop on tomorrow and see how many more parties you've booked. Keep coming back and posting so you can win. I'm just gonna tell you. We're giving away a brick of the, what's it called? What are you doing? We're giving away that brick that we got. Oh. Very very, very, what's it called? Oh, I don't know what I ever saw. Yeah, you I did. was just the bad carrier. Anyways, we got a brick at reunion. We're going to give one of them away. We got a new warmer at reunion that we're going to give away. Can you believe that? And we have some other things up our sleeves. So um, you only get a chance to win when you tell me that you booked a party. You're just giving our stuff away. You're giving away my stuff, huh? Yeah, I am. Let's see how I get treated. You didn't even know what I wanted. I know, because I didn't want to get my hopes up and then use it. I want to save it. Oh, you're saving I'm it? I'm saving it. For what? For a special occasion. Which kind? Like our anniversary. Yeah, which is a week from today. So. It's a week from today? Yeah, it is. Eight days yesterday. So. Yeah. Tuesday. We have huge plans. We have zero plans. <laughs> we'll probably be doing online steps of success. So. Oh, yeah, we will. Huh? Yeah. Anniversary edition. Anniversary. Really? What the anniversary edition of all these steps to success look like? You weren't about, are you trying to get perverted? Is no, that, I'm just asking. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I'm saying if we're doing online steps, it would be the anniversary edition, right? I mean, our anniversary. What other kind would there be? I don't know. Okay. She's silly. <sighs> Hold on, don't say anything. That's not it. No, I have something else to say. Your anniversary. <gasps> oh, somebody said that really does work. Somebody said their have their Cincy their anniversary is like next month, and so they're having a anniversary party. I love that idea. Mine's in November. I'm doing one too. It'll be 11 years in November. That is crazy. What? I hadn't really thought about that. 11 years. I just keep thinking 10. 10 is a big deal. It'll be 11 years. 11 years in November. We're going to have a party. But what a great way to have a customer appreciation party. Huge. Like, I mean, you could do so much fun stuff. So don't forget about your anniversary. You should have a party. I would. I'm going to. Hey, thank you all for joining us. I can't wait to see how many parties you book. If you're a leader, put um, a challenge out to your teams to come and watch and come and book parties. Um, do a little fun thing with your teams for how many part, for parties they book too, and then remind them they have a chance to win something. Yeah, don't just use this for yourself. Send this out to your yeah. teams and get a crap ton of parties on yeah. your team. For so next if you just joined us late at the beginning, we talked about different kinds of parties. We brainstormed on ways to get like to set up your calendar and to be work smarter, not harder when it comes to doing parties with multiple hosts, lots of things like that. So check that out if you missed it. We talked about some themed parties, all sorts of things. So anyways, 
Happy hope- seven years, Alicia. Seven years today with Cincy. Happy seven years. Or Alicia. Alicia. We're going to go with Alicia. Yeah. I need phonetic spelling by everyone's name. <laughs> How about that? Unless it's like Courtney or Allison Courtney. or yeah. Cassandra. That's true. Yeah. All right. That's it for online stuff to us tonight. Thanks for playing. I hope you're I hope you're so freaking busy booking parties you can't even type. And then you come back and you type later. And we might have a secret surprise coming to in the form of giveaways. So check back in. We'll probably do giveaways, even though I said 24 hours. It will be 24 hours that you need to get everything your comments in. But to be eligible for the prize. But we'll probably draw on Thursday, just so you know. Um, you'll have a fantastic night. Stay busy. Keep doing it. Do it again tomorrow. And I'll talk to y'all later. Can't wait to see how you do. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, shoot. I don't have multiple.